Hey guys, my name's Thomas. I'm a videographer based here in Helsinki. And today I'm going to walk you through my personal workflow using the Loop Deck Plus and its new integration with Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's get into it. So the first tool is your control dial. This enables you to skip through your timeline and at the same time select clips as you go. Buttons like D1 enables me to zoom in and out of my timeline and hitting the clarity button enables me to make very fine trimming adjustments. By hitting C6 I can ripple delete and by hitting D1 I can zoom out of my timeline again. These are already tools that I find make my workflow incredibly fast and have sped up my workflow. I have a couple of other basic functions on the keyboard which I find are really useful. These are things like moving my playhead five frames at a time, having access to my play, and fast forward buttons. I can rewind and hit play again. I know that many of these shortcuts can be mapped to a keyboard, but A, it just doesn't feel the same. And I find having dials and the ability to do things like zoom in and out and work really precisely give me a lot more control over each clip that I actually edit. So, using my C3 tool, I can mark my endpoints, I can scrub through my frame, select the out point, and add the clip to my timeline. Quick and easy. Other tools that I'd use on a regular basis would be things like adding a LUT, B4, inserting keyframes. Another thing I love about the Loop Deck is that everything is 100% customizable. So let's say P8, for example, I'm not using it for anything, and I'm not even sure what they pre-programmed it to be. I want it to be a default transition, because I know that that's a function that I use a lot. So I'm going to open up the Loop Deck software, map the button to P8, and just like that, I'm now able to apply a default transition. But you can use this for any function that suits your needs. So if you work more in the color tabs, you can assign color functions. If you work more in your audio panels, you can assign audio functions. You literally have access to the full menu of Adobe Premiere's Pro functionality. The Loop Deck Plus comes with three customizable layers. So you have your base layer of controls, then you hit your function button and activate a secondary layer of controls where, for example, your tint temperature and saturation become your color wheel control for your highlights. Then, in custom mode, you can basically assign any function to any key. Now, you can already do that in your first two layers, but having a third layer of completely customizable controls, so it's basically like having three loop decks next to each other. The idea is that you're not stuck to what someone else wants you to use this for and how they want you to use it. It's 100% customizable, and the idea is that you make it your own depending on what you do. Once you're happy with what you've done, you can hit P6, which selects everything. You can hit export and export your project from there. Once again, this is just an example of how I use the Loop Deck Plus in my personal workflow with Adobe Premiere Pro. But it's entirely up to you guys to customize the device according to your needs and your workflow. I really hope this video was helpful to you guys. Thanks for watching. See you again.